If you want to become a billionaire and you didn't happen to be born in the Saudi royal family, there's a few methods to get the job done. You might come up with one genuinely brilliant concept like a new computer operating system or a social network and then turn it into a large firm, or you might adopt the Warren Buffett method, making a decades-long sequence of savvy, low-risk investments and then watch the riches quietly flow in. And then there's what Elon Musk did. Before we begin though, please like the video, subscribe, and hit that bell to stay notified for future uploads. Musk earned his money differently than most of today's renowned billionaires. Instead of one fantastic idea, he had multiple decent ones. And instead of a number of intelligent, safe investments, he made only a few extremely reckless ones. But there was a method to his madness, even if it wasn't evident to many at the time. The sum total of those wagers earned Musk the wealthiest private person on the globe this year. And their world-altering effects, from privately launched space missions to an electric car behemoth that left the auto industry racing to catch up, have landed Musk as Time's 2021 Person of the Year. Musk's family was well off. He showed an early knack with computers, building his first video game at 12 years old. When he was 17, he departed for Canada to evade military duty in South Africa's apartheid state, attending Queen's University in Ontario. In 1992, he went to the University of Pennsylvania, where he studied physics and business. Penn's tree-lined campus may have also given Musk his first taste for hazardous business ventures. He and a handful of buddies leased up an off-campus residence and transformed it into a nightclub. Then it moved on to Silicon Valley and briefly to grad school. Musk enrolled to Stanford but dropped out after two days. A newfangled network of computer links was beginning to attract young entrepreneurs and Musk decided to test his luck. He co-founded Zip2 with his brother Kimball in the mid-90s as an online business directory with maps. With the support of outside investors and managers, Elon and Kimball landed arrangements with newspapers like the New York Times. This sold the Zip2 to Compaq, a failing computer manufacturer, for $307 million in 1999. Musk spent one mil on a McLaren F1 supercar after earning $22 million from the Zip2 deal. It's not consistent with my other behavior, Musk said to CNN after the automobile was brought to his house. He crashed the vehicle a year later, attempting to demonstrate its acceleration and mistakenly flinging it like a frisbee. The $1 million sports automobile was uninsured. Musk had moved on to his next project by then. On the day of the accident, Peter Thiel, co-founder of Confinity, was in the McLaren. Thiel and Musk were unharmed. Musk invested his millions in X.com, an internet banking business. In March 2000, the new two firms merged to establish PayPal. Musk was a designated CEO, but the board ousted him in September while he was on vacation, replacing him with Thiel. It's not a good idea to leave the office when there are so many major things going on, Musk would later ponder. Musk retained a share in the firm. He made $180 million when eBay purchased PayPal for $1.5 billion in 2002. Musk didn't end up resting with his new millions. He launched SpaceX in 2002 with the absurd goal of populating Mars. The next year, he invested over $6 million in Tesla which then consisted of two founders and an electric sports vehicle idea. The business hoped to transform the area by using new lithium-ion batteries that were light and energy dense. Tesla's key breakthrough was scaling up lithium-ion cells, allowing them to develop an electric vehicle with considerably better range than earlier electric vehicles. Musk claims he used almost all of the cash from the PayPal sale to finance the enterprises in their early years. SpaceX had repeated box launches that almost bankrupted them, while Tesla's engineers discovered that its prototype battery packs were prone to catching fire. It could have been a company-ending discovery, says former Tesla CTO J.B. Strabble. Tesla almost went bankrupt during the 2008 Great Recession. Musk's bets eventually paid off. The NASA awarded SpaceX a $1.6 billion contract in 2008, and Tesla started mass-producing the Model S in 2012. Tesla now controls around two-thirds of the U.S. electric car market. SpaceX leads private space exploration. Tesla makes a fewer cars than Ford and GM, yet its worth has gone well above theirs. Tesla stock price has quadrupled in the last 18 months, increasing its market valuation to $1 trillion. Musk has a sizable position in that stock, despite selling about $12 billion worth in the last two months. However, executing his more stock options may increase his holding. If Tesla's stock drops, so does Musk's riches. He presently owns around 17% of Tesla's shares, worth $175 billion, which accounts for the majority of his net worth. Musk's 48% interest in SpaceX plus cash and other assets boosts his overall net worth to about $266 billion, according to an October financing round. He's invested in new businesses. He founded The Boring Company in 2016 and Neuralink in 2017. Well, there you have it, folks. Did you like today's video? 
Let us know in the comments below. With this, we're going to wrap it up for today. If you enjoyed, please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more awesome videos. We hope to see you again in the next one. Till then, adios.